Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please you do so. Today we have a Honda Accord 2018 US model. The one with the uh, button uh, transmission shift. With the button shift. This car has a lot of light on the dashboard. So let's start counting from transmission, performance problem, brake system problem. You can see the parking light is flashing problem we have the ACC we have the lane keeper assist on LKS on we have power steering on we have brake and brake system on we have tight pressure to on we have slippery light to on you can see it then we have 360 camera on and we have hill start to on ACC on so we we'll just do a quick diagnosis on this car to see why is the problem so I'm going to walk you through the whole procedure so I'm going to use a Maxicom MK808 I might have to launch your app first go to diagnostics um, here's Honda or you can search it from here so you can go to Honda directly or you go to Asia cars uh, I'm mistakenly picked for you. Diagnostics. Exit this car. This is not what you want. Okay, Honda. Yeah, for, uh, you go to automatic selection, then you read your vent. That was my friend that did came. Then you go to okay after you have read the vent, then you go to okay. As I told you already, it's a US model. Okay, on the accord. Okay, 2018, yes. Okay, I'll go to diagnostics. Let's do an auto scan first. Let's go to all DTC test. The checking will take some time. Do you want to? Yes. You want to? Okay, shift to parking. It's already in parking. And this is the reverse. This is just the reverse. And this is the parking. It's already in parking. Okay. By the way, the car is running, I just want to maintain the battery a little bit. If not, I, I think it will take some time. Okay, okay, okay. of course in the system so you just have to take your time read everything so the best thing to do in this scenario is uh, when you get a lot of calls like this a lot of lights on you have to uh, after the scan you have to save it save it as a PDF but let me uh, just go and uh, report and see what is there then I'll save it then you first have to clear the details to see which of them is still a, a problem that you have to solve Position sensor, then crash up with the incorrect face detected or confirm. And we have FCAN 
Okay, we are function. That's the communication network of the car. Okay, F can. I think we'll be having okay, like uh, low tire pressure, different tire diameter detection. Okay, okay. It's making some sense. Uh, gauges model load communication with driver support system. This is the gauges model the uh, instrumental cluster. Okay, F can left side plan spot information radar unit receiver you see PCM automatic transmission system failure okay see that's why the transmission P P is just a flashing okay so we have to save this one so we come to this uh, little save button here we click here save as pdf and you just name it file name uh let's just do it on honda honda uh, us so that we will not forget and we just save it okay it has successfully been saved you can open this folder to see so this is the file we have saved. Okay. Okay, okay, that's it. That's it. That's the file we have saved. It. So we are just going back to clear the codes. So come back. Come here. To clear the code now we have to just switch on the vehicle. Um uh, switch it off, I mean. Then switch the turn on the ignition. Then let's do a quick erase. We are doing a quick erase. Okay. Okay, transmission is still having two faults. ABS. Three faults are still there. Some of the faults are going. Nice part information. Okay, let me see how many we still have. We still have two, uh, two, three, two. Automatic transmission. Let me report again and see what is there what is still there then that will be the issue we're supposed to be solving okay f con f con with the acc which means there's a loss of communication between the transmission control module and the adaptive course control and that's the problem we are having so we have to do some little bit of research about this f con because i'm not having a Proper detail about this fault code, so I'm going to get some diagnosis to uh, troubleshooting points and we'll see. So, we still have the low tire pressure that's there. So, let me try to calibrate it. Let's see. So, this is just a bonus step. When you have this one, you have to come here. Uh, I'm not display. Come back. Oh, we can't do anything to that. Once we are having a problem with some of the system, we will not be able to access the vehicle settings. Transmission system problem too. So we have to solve some of the issues before we will be able to access the system. So thank you guys for watching. Please you like and subscribe to my channel. Help the channel to grow. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. So after digging inside this what uh, some of the possible causes of that code could be they said that the f line is open or 
they shot her to ground. All the multi-purpose camera unit failure, including fuses fall out. So we have to check the fuses. Maybe someone have uh, removed some of the fuses and they didn't really put it at where it's supposed to be. The designated uh, fuse post, he didn't put it there. So that's what we're supposed to do. We're taking all the transmission control model is having an internal circuit failure. When there's, there's an internal circuit failure in the transmission to control model, we are going to have the same issue. So this one is going to be uh, not just a big work. It have to be uh, something we really have to take time to check. It's not a straightforward issue. So we have to start working with the possible causes and narrow it down.